very windy today. Going in 1600 West 24th Street, Building 125. William Hayes is with me. Ronnie is actually my uncle, and he says I'm the smartest person he knows. That'll be a good character witness for the stand. Then we waited for over nine, almost 15 minutes. Ronnie is the head uh, person at the reception desk at CMHIP in that building. Small talk before my evaluation. Talking about the visit, the uh, visit with the vet today. It's was already over, uh, way past over 10 minute wait, which is not that bad, but. Now they've already deprived uh, my rights to have a witness.
to have the opportunity to at least um, ask him what he wants to do. And I did contact CDI. That I did not see any record of you calling yet. And I did notify them to contact OPRO that this is for this um, evaluation and let them know what's happening. So they know that they are the middle person. This would be a violation of the power of um, medical attorney rights. They're refusing to call the famous people I know or even look at my phone.
Codings, contacting CBI today, and I'd like to wait to get back with Oprah, see what she wants to do. And as no delusion, if you want to call Kenny Frost right now, I'm more than happy to call Michael Donald and Kenny Frost, very famous, famous people. what you're saying, and I want to do the best thing for my interest in this court case. However, I do, under state laws and under criminal statute, have the right to ask for my power of attorney's advice and to be present, mm -hmm. and I have made those specific measures in contacting CBI. I have uh, made those measures in contacting our uh, famous friends well, that we both you know. This, if you fill this out, Well, the downside, Nicole Glover, is that I've had less than three hours to prepare. Mind you, I'm in intense, excruciating pain, and it's all documented. This is not just something just for today, okay? I've been having to, I showed you my paperwork on the third, that I still have to go to the hospital every week for pain management. And so, it would be a violation. This is not the thing that you need to prepare for, it's really about and I understand that. It's not, I'm not trying to prepare, and I guess I used the uh, wrong word for that. What I'm indicating to you is that taking this exam in a high state of pain and duress would be invalid. It would just be a malicious forced psych evaluation that is not done in proper normal conditions. So if I could, I can even take a Tylenol. And so, you know, like Dr. Gray mentioned that, that we're at somewhat of an impasse, then because I think we, you know, given that your case had, you know, some historical data that we kind of all need to make sense of, be able to make an informed opinion to the court, this is one of the ways that we can do that. Um, and I appreciate that. And, so but, however, do you appreciate the law mandates that you cannot take a psych evaluation under duress or in intense pain. When you're in intense pain, which I do have all medical documents approved, I have a torn I'm rotator cuff. A torn any of Hold that on, I'm not finished, Nicole Glover. What I'm saying is, I don't want to get a false. I don't want to get a false eval and show that because oftentimes, when you're in intense pain. It can show mania or it can show schizophrenia. Those are all documented things. Remind you, I have a master's degree in clinical counseling. So I know that it would be an act of malpractice to test somebody when they're under duress and when they are under intense, excruciating pain. Those are two stipulations that mandate you cannot do a psych evaluation at that time or you'll get a false, re a false read. So it sounds like I'm not unwilling to take the questionnaire. I would like my due process rights. There's a very clear distinction between the two. So I would, I'm asking for the time for my due process rights to 
Let CBI get a hold of, of Oprah, and I will contact the other two people that are being middlemen, and and then see what she wants to do, because it's a malicious prosecution. And I don't know if you spoke to any professionals or anyone in law about this case, but it is clearly an act outside of the jurisdictions of the court and your scope of practice. And I'm not saying that in a threatening or derogatory manner whatsoever. I'm just bringing to your attention, as I did provide you all of the evidence to this case, and all of the evidence has shown that this case is listing mail fraud, international stalking, IRS fraud, government document fraud. Those are all federal charges.
However, the thing is, is that under duress, Nicole, Dr. Dr. Glover, this would be a false thing. Do you know how much duress they've been putting me under? I'm not questioning the amount of pain that you're in or the amount of distress that you both have been under. But, you know, I think what is my job is to look at the very specific case that we have been asked to look at. And I understand that you have a lot of legal matters regarding a lot of other cases. Yeah, and we don't want to defy you, and we want to cooperate, but we want to do the due process. We've been threatened in court that they're going to kill us in court. Well, and I think it, you know, having this filed against me today makes it harder for me to do my job. This is only documenting what had occurred. I understand that you're trying to protect yourself, but it also makes us into a litigious situation, which is difficult. It's already that way, Nicole. That's why I gave you all the evidence. So I appreciate that you guys are in an amount of distress, and I also want to be able to do my job to the best of my ability. Okay, well, then I'm going to ask you to please contact the FBI. Our conversation is not because I'm discounting what you've been through. I just want you to know that I'm really trying to be diligent in the way that I handle your case, Dr. Luda, and only get into your personal life in ways that are extremely relevant to the very narrow question we have been asked to answer. I understand that you're pursuing legal action in a lot of different areas. But I'm offering you plenty of opportunities to find out that that's not a delusion, and you're refusing me every time. Do you see how that's frustrating and harassing to me? Because I want to prove my... You're very frustrated, and I can appreciate that. I see that every time we've had an interaction. But I can understand your place of saying, hey, I want to know if this over is real. I can appreciate that. And so since today we aren't able to proceed, let's just leave it here today. And if new information comes to light, I'd be happy to take a look at that. Well, I tried to today. I tried to show you the threats. I tried to show you the text messages to make you go through CBI that the professionals that are linked between Oprah and I personally, not a fabrication, have stated these things, and you're refusing to see the exculpatory evidence. Well, so, you know, we've been through this a few times, and so today what I can say is that we need to end. Do you not see the importance of that? And so if new information comes to light, we can pursue it. Well, I should be able to. I'm hoping to talk to Garcia tomorrow. I'm sorry? When is the next scheduled appointment? We don't have another scheduled appointment. It sounds like they need to get some power of attorney communication. Yeah, and I made the call. My report is due to court at the end of this week, and so I have to write that report and mandate it by law. And so I can do it based on the information that I have. And I called the judge, too, for that order. You're sure you've done some of this stuff? He's a witness. Since 2013. She came to me before. His son even works in Hollywood. I'm really proud he got his name on the Star Wars, this new Star Wars. Oh, congratulations. Something to be very proud of. Thank you. Thank you. That was the end of the communication today. However, we ended, and the CMHIP, Dr. Nicole Glover and Dr. Gray, stated that they had a order for a psych evaluation. However, they failed to produce it to me. The courts today said they do not have it. There is not one on record. There is only a competency evaluation ordered, and that's it. And so they were derusting me. They were fabricating that they had orders that they did not have. I asked them to produce them to me today, and they failed to produce them because they don't have them. They directly, intentfully, and willfully lied to me. This is on uh, YouTube, so that way everybody can see exactly the heinous seditioning that is going on to deprive me. And they're trying to make it sound like mental illness. That way they can try to deprive Oprah Winfrey of the uh, estate rights to all of my estate for the interstate uh, trespass. 
that is a lot of money for the interstate and um, look at any tollways and all of that nature and do the math and also the water 200 million gallons a minute feeding nine counties three states and feeding even more you do the math you tell me that they don't have motive <laughs>